हेलो गाइस दिस इज फिफ्थ वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू मेक योर ओन कस्टम रोम इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द एफ टी एफ पैकेजेस टू गेट अवर स्लैश सिस्टम फोल्डर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू सेट अप द किचन फोल्डर फॉर योर रोम कस्टमाइजेशन सो फ्रॉम दिस एफ टी एफ एक्सट्रैक्टर फोल्डर वी आर गोइंग टू कॉपी द सिस्टम फाइल एंड देन go to kaivik then home folder then folder of your username and then to kitchen and then to this working folder here the name of the working folder is working experience in your home you can change it later on and just copy that system folder here after copying the system folder we are going back our tools copy this meta inf folder and simply extract inside the same system folder inside this working folder so the kitchen folder is set up now close it and start carving from your desktop here you have to type a command cd space kitchen k i t c h e n cd space kitchen and hit enter so your working directory will be now kitchen type here dot forward slash menu and hit enter so now the kitchen will start the kitchen is started <coughs> this takes a bit while so now this is the kitchen on uh, room customization here you will get different option set up working folder add root permission add busy box disable boot sound so you can use it all everything in uh, on this menu to make your own custom room so first of all what we are going to do is to grab any kind of boot.img that is kernel file it's very necessary to use a custom kernel if you want to have a good custom room i am using my own custom kernel that is uh, nero droid kernel here so copy that boot img in this carving home nero kitchen and this working folder make sure the name of the img file is boot.img now what you have to do hit 0 sorry hit type 0 and hit enter you will go to advanced option now type 23 and hit enter this is to convert updater script to updater script or update script to the updater script now hit 1 as you have already you have updater script inside the meta and folder inside the working folder so hit uh, press 1 and hit enter so you will ask to proceed then type yes for y for yes and hit enter so your updater script will be converted to the update script now that the formatting be done so the updater script is converted to the update script now hit is 0 to go back 
now what you have to do you have to press 10 and see the working folder information shift working folder is found now the kernel is extracted the md is ex extracted and the information for the working folder is shown on this command prompt now the android version is 2.3.4 device name is sk17i here is the room name and uh, if it is rooted then it will shown here everything is here shown so you have to root this as this is stock form it is not rooted secure boot img is found but it is rooted but we are not going to use it we are going to root our rom busybox is not installed so we have to install busybox busybox run parts are present app to sd is not enabled data app is not enabled so we have to make rom custom so we have to add this so for that just simply press enter hit 2 to add root permissions so i am going to use here change dd version for that i am going to type f and press enter so super user and bin slash su folder is going to be installed inside the folder ramdix and kernel are being extracted and here you go the room is rotated now now add busy box for that type 3 and hit enter add busy box yes press y and hit enter so busy box is uh, installed now hit enter so everything is uh, set up now again press 10 to see the working folder information and you will get the advanced look of your room sorry advanced information about your room so as we can see here your room is rooted now your uh, busy box are installed so other features we will discuss later on how to install uh, how to set up app to sd how to enable data to app etc so now we have to change the name of your room then hit it and press enter the current name is uh, some build version so if you want to rename it just press y and hit enter please enter the new name so i'm going to type nero droid room and hit enter so the new name of the room is nero droid room now so everything is set up now now we have to proceed on the next part that is customization part for that we are going to use apk tool for customization of dot apk file and uh, also for customization of dot jar file so let's see the next video for apk tool thank you